Welcome back to the most professional StarCraft 2. I'd like to introduce the Terran player on the blue. The most relatable Terran out there. His micro mistakes more than made up for by his macro mastery. It's the people's Terran. It's Cure. But his nemesis with a spawning pool already done. You probably know who it is. But once more, let me introduce the final boss. It's Dark. Best of five. Terran versus Zerg, and Dark is unwilling to let things start quietly. He's got six Zerglings on the way across the map, where even one Zergling can do intense amounts of damage. Just like one like and one subscribe can make my day a little bit better. Jimmy, what are we... What? 1,000... 218 likes, and you can save an SCV from a Zerg. No, probably not, but and I'll cast another series. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you've had a good day so far, and hopefully it's about to get a little bit better as we're starting off with a Zerg rush. I, I, I'm i hesitant to call it an all-out rush. As it's more like a... Um, he's got Zergling inspectors in the base, making sure that this Terran player is doing exactly what he expects him to do, which is 3cc no matter what, at all times. And indeed it is. Cure has gone 3cc, even though some of the SCVs went out to try to keep track of those Zerglings. And, and by that I mean he lost track of them himself. But Reaper comes out. Dark is following it up with more Zerglings. Cure actually lost exactly zero SCVs. So, uh, uh, perfect handling thus far. But looking now, the Overlord is in place. He built enough more Zerglings to be a real threat. And he's looking to slip by as well. Oh my god, if he gets in. Dark, did he time this out? Is he going to wait for the lift? He's got Zergling speed done. His Overlord is in position. Oh, dark. Oh, dark. Ah, I think he's waiting for the liftoff, but here... Knowing Dark far too well. They've played each other so many times. Oh, yeah, he's waiting. Hey, he might be able to just intercept a Cyclone here. Dark with the Overlord moot hanging out. If he's able to intercept the Cyclone at this point... Well, the fact that the barracks isn't building. Let's go to the Dark Cam. Oh, he sees it. It's time. He's waiting for the factory to lift off! And the Zerglings will get in! Yes. Was it worth it? I don't know, but... I love it when a plan comes together. Again, the Zerglings will get in. And in, again, they will be a mild inconvenience to the SCVs. Two of them dead this time. Which is two more SCVs than he got with the last attack. So, so far, the idea good, the execution good, the actual impact of the Zerglings, eh. But definitely some mind games here. Dark starting off at game one. Literally timing out the lift of the factory. And the Overlord getting away. Eh, for now. We saw the mules dropping in through the screen. But now Cure... Well, now Dark has put this in his head. Some Dark thoughts. Uh, as always. <laughs> Looking for a fourth base. The Zerglings might be able to zone out the Reaper. The Cyclone's behind Dark. A bit lackadaisical with those Overlords. Oh. I'm not sure if Cure saw him, but two of them heading north, trying to get out of the line of sight of those Cyclones. And a single Queen here is not going to be enough. Two more dangerous. Transfuse on that last spot of creep there. Has to relock onto the Queen. Brenda! Why do these things move faster than us? I thought they got nerfed. Oh, Karen, calm down, Karen. Karen doesn't get nerfed. They just get new toys. Oh, the Zerglings. Sorry, I blacked out for a second. The Zerglings are able to chase down and kill those Cyclones. Again, Dark. Um, overbuilding Zerglings. More than you'd expect here. And Kira getting caught out. This is a Dark special here. He just throws the Zerglings on. Oh my god. Is it worth it? Maybe. He gets up to 66 drones now. Just now starting a lair at the 6 minute mark. That is immensely late. In, in the grand scheme of things, considering how this game is going. But, he's so focused on the guy, he's putting a lair. Two hatcheries. One macro hatch, one on location. One one on the way. Four gas gazers. Cure just now taking his third and three racks. Those racks 
He's going up to the Octorex. Oh my god, we're sprinting in the macro after this. Double medevac with whoever was around, I guess. Only like nine marines. Ready to go. Another counterattack lined up as Dark finds another exposed mineral line, but two Hellions and a few marines are enough to turn him around for now. And the marines. We'll stim up towards the fourth base, looking for the drones. The drone's not looking for company right now. Finding it anyways. The queen trying to be targeted. Some of the marines ripped apart. Cure will maintain a slight upgrade advantage if he starts a 2-2 on time here. Dark is adding more and more drones. The queens, politely yet firmly, will encourage those medevacs to leave. Dark with the double infestation pit play. Warpin swarm host and no he canceled one. Wait, he canceled the one that was almost done. Dark or or was either either way. Either way, he figures out he has at least one infestation pit heading up towards high. Here starts 2-2. Two -two. Immediately. He's got enough SCVs to start producing off his eight racks here. So even though Dark's made a whole bunch of good moves and uh wanna oh, just gonna waddle in with the bane. Hello! Hello! Dark with an unceremonious counterattack. That could have been devastating, but ends up being just kind of mediocre. Kills a Hellion, two SCVs. Somehow gets out with a Baneling, which is just a sad life for a Baneling. The only kill it can get is itself. As no Terran unit dies to one Baneling. SCVs may die with plus three attack. Maybe not since the patch. Either way, sad. Bainling speed about to complete. Marines will get surrounded. Precarious medevac there. Hive is on the way. Is dark? I think this is an ultra whisk. I hesitate to say rush as that hive kind of late in the grand scheme of things. But, um. Oh, a couple more Banelings. Hmm. Oh, more Lings and Banes on the way across. Cure is not really committed to building more SCVs. He's looking for what is essentially a three base all in. As he wants to get as many units across the map as possible, and his army supply is looking really good. His general supply, 179 to 172. Marines will find a hatchery on the south side and gun it down. Things and Bane's just not there in time. There's no vision over there. There's not that much creep spread. Cure's done a good job of keeping it off the sides. Though up the center is uh, another story. Hive is done. What's it going to be, Dark? Our drop's loading up Ultralist Cavern Adrenal Glands. Here we go. Plenty of Hellbats on the field as well. I'm mixing that all oh, cure. <laughs> oh. Got to reset that controller. Maybe uh, fiddle with the USB. The Marines melted but replaced immediately because it's not about how many men you lose but about how many you have to replace cure understands that better than most as he's maxed out ready to compete with dark and dark doesn't have hive tech ready to go he's just got lings and banes against 2-2 two -two marine marauder plus two melee attacks about to complete but carapace is a long way off hell bats at home but a whole lot of zerglings are coming through cure with that beautiful spread i can't believe it's not butter the Zerglings, eh, thinned out. Might be enough to break through a whole lot of Banelings here, but Marauders, not the not the ideal target. Another drop over to the left flank, and Dark has some Ultras on the way, but Ultras are not so great when it comes to uh, defense when they can be picked off. They're more for overwhelming offense and running the field. And guess what? Well, Dark is down to 150 supply. He just lost his fourth base. Cure? Hasn't finished his fourth yet. Like I said, something of a three base all in. He's still at only 60 SCVs. 185 supply, 3 3 on the way. But is there a Ghost Academy? No. No Ghost Academy means no easy way to deal with the Ultras. The Marauders are good. The Liberators are better. But the Ghosts, by far the best option. And without them, Dark has a very real chance to be able to turn the tables against Cure and his incredible macro. There's the Ghost Academy. 
I think realizing what's going on at this state, or in general when you're maxing out, a Ghost Academy is not a bad call at all. Liberators, ready to see you jump. Cure is set up across the board here. He's got Liberators to the left, a drop as well to the south, another larger army to the north, and another one up the center. The Liberators will keep Dark busy. The creep's red is minimal. It's been whittled down for the most part. Only a few spots of it. Uh, have been replaced. Chitinous Plating is about to complete. Big counterattack from Dark. Gonna try to stress the multitasking of Cure. Definitely a viable strategy, as we've seen. Cure pulling back with a significant amount of units to defend, but there are no Banelings to break through yet. Dark Ultras are chewing through the Marines! Oh, Zerg Fantasy right there. Mm. Oh, that never happens to me. Mm. Cure. Might share half the letters in his name with Clem, but certainly a different style of Terran indeed. The Marines, wow, just like that. Dark down a dozen or two supply, evens it up. The Ultra's chewing through one. Down goes the command center. No cancel. And the Ultra's just chewing up the supply gap. The ghosts are not be Where are the ghosts? They're not cloaked, right? I would be able to see them. Anyways, Liberators on the way. More Marauders. More mine. Vipers in production as well now for Dark. That last piece of the puzzle. That he really needs to deal with the massive medevacs and maybe the Liberators. Uh, Blinding Cloud can be good, but Parasitic Bomb and Abduct are 90% of it at this stage. Another drop up to the north side. Dark still not feeling comfortable with his army coming across the map all at once. You don't want to give here the opportunity to kill all your important units and then come across the map before you can rebuild them. Dark has been sending out counterattack and, and smaller groups of units. The bio army's a cure. The drops and the uh, split forces have been doing well. And Dark does run the risk of waiting too long. Of giving Cure the opportunity to go for ghosts and get his defenses set up. Which makes... Uh, it makes it very hard to break. And faster on the way. Is there Burrow? Yes. Are there Burrowed Banes out there? Possibly. Doesn't look like anything besides a, a couple of Zerglings burrowed on the creep. Or to block some bases. Zerglings heading north again. Dark has 135 Zerglings. Another day at the office. It's pretty low for him. That infester walking into a missile turret. Very awkward there. Missile turret spots it. Infester pretends nothing happened. Slides back away. And, well, the Zerglings come in and kill that turret. Infester phoned home about it. Oh, Overlord speed. On the way, gonna be very helpful. When dealing with that. The Overseer is wandering over. Throw some changelings out. Why not? Liberator backs up. Two more hatcheries coming up for Dark. Expanding to both corners. The Infester in a precarious position here. Another skid just kind of dies. Okay, well, not ideal. Trying to draw out some of the Widow Mines, but big hit from downtown. Parasitic Bomb cure quarantines the Medivacs. The Depots are holding this base, but those Ultras are lined up. Ghost is cloaked, but not nearly enough energy for Snipes. He needs a lot more Ghost than that. How many ghosts on the field? He leaves a few circling burrowed. There's ten ghosts out there. Here, both sides, three three upgrades. But only for their core units. Plus three infantry weapons and armor, plus three melee weapons and armor. Nothing else even being attempted. Finally max plating for Cure. Who's actually supply blocked because he lost so many depots in that last fight. Widow mine. Ooh, cure reacted in time. Another mine. Drawn out. Dealt with nuclear missile is on the way. A potentially deadly army of Zerg here. From Dark. He's got the Infestors. He's got the Viper. The Wombo Combo potential. But does not want to risk that incredibly inefficient fight off a of creep. That cure could very much win. He keeps taking the map. He's waiting for Cure 
to make a mistake. Kira and Dark have gone back and forth many times. And, uh, while Kira's macro might be incredible, obviously, uh, his micro a bit shakier. Uh, I say obviously because of what we've seen so far, but... Dark knows. If he waits long enough, it's very likely Kira will have his ghost clumped up in the wrong place. And he may be able to take advantage of it. But if Kira is able to hold on to these bases, Dark is going to have to find alternative options. Broodlords, maybe. He's got plus one flyer attack on the way. We got building armor. High sec auto tracking. So filling in all the blanks here. Plenty more command centers as well. Dark is, is slowly but surely consuming the map. The creep is over half of it now. He's got hatcheries on his entire side. Might start working towards Cures now. 5,000 minerals in the bank. Cures 2k. Is there Neural Parasite? No. No. Not at the moment. Base forced to lift off. Kira has a ghost cloaked in there. Hide their numbers. Not all of them are cloaked. Only one is cloaked, which is odd. Morbitals. Things slowing down as the armies are so dangerous to each other now that... You get caught slightly out of position, and it could be most of your army dead in seconds. Changeling wanders into the main at a conspicuous timing. The Nidus network began a few seconds ago, and Dark has a Changeling in place. Fusion Core, almost certainly for Liberators, but we're not ruling out the Battlecruiser's nuclear launch is detected. Dark finds it immediately. And we'll shred the ghost. The nuke flies off into wherever. Who knows where they go. The knight is in the main. The knight is in the main. And Cure isn't reinforced. Oh, and he's looking the other way! The incredible fungals! Wombo combo! Pacific bomb! In dark! It's absolutely everything! And the icing on the cake! The Encore, the finishing move, the Nidus into the main, and Cure made the mistake. He, the army was caught, held down, and slaughtered the Metavax, parasitic bomb in a fungal, and Cure is crumbling on all fronts, including his main. His army, his core army of ghosts, is still intact. He lost a bunch of them. He's able to clean up the Nidus. But that's a significant victory here for Dark. The fact that the minerals and gas are about even at this stage. Yeah, Dark killed more against a late game Terran. He only got two ghosts. So not overall um, particularly not lucrative in the composition that he killed. But still definitely retaking momentum of the match. He has so many Corruptors here, looking to wipe out any remaining air units. Though maybe overcommitted to Corruptors a bit. How many Corruptors are up there? He's got 20! Okay, definitely. That's 20. That's a Congress of Corruptors right there. Alright, 21 Corruptors. How many, how many Liberators? I guess he saw how many Starports that, that Kira was building. Anyways, Anitus in the southern part of the main. Gonna knock down another Liberator. Cure strikes back. He's got an army up the front, but Dark has money in the back, but no gas. And the planetary is killing Ultralisks. Repaired well enough. It does have that building armor. Another Viper. Two Vipers go down. The main base is getting ripped apart. But the Ghost will cloak in the bio ball. It's still very strong. More Banelings going to be built. I don't know how many. It looks like the base the South survived. Corruptors will wipe out the metavags, but there's still enough bio. Very convenient he didn't scan there. The ghosts lining up and, and shooting the the zerglings out of the ground. Ground piercing bullets. Oh my god, with no metavax at all. This is a cyberbullying composition here. Dark just no respect for cure. He just wipes out the metavax. So much army supply committed to corruptors, but now. He can't even heal his marines. 
How many starports are left? God, these widow mines keep firing. There are two starports. He's only producing out of one of them. The income, well, is actually tilting back in favor of Kira, which is quite odd, but Kira was able to take out two bases to the north side. He stems those moraines. He's running out of HP to stim with. The medevacs, the enablers, are not here after being slaughtered. And we don't mind. No drilling claws. Kira's trying to fix that now. A pretty significant mistake. All the ghosts lined up in one place. Cure. Cure. How many games have we watched? How many games have we seen? This? No. Okay, there's an infester on the way. Only one. That's his only infester. There's only one medevac here. Tries to line up the snipes, but will be surrounded. The overseer. That's the last. Oh, wait, no, he has two overseers. And the army will just get chewed up here by the Ultralusks as Dark sweeps the field. The Infester pops out. He whips out an EMP with the dying breath of the ghosts. And, and now there's no overseers, so this is kind of awkward. He will actually get enough snipes off to kill the an, an Ultra. So that's not a horrible ending. But Cure at no Metavax. His army in a precarious position just gets ground to pieces by the Zerg. And, uh, I really think this is Dark understanding Cure incredibly well. He knows that Cure gets impatient. He wants to really use that army. It, it, it feels like when you have 12 ghosts and a dozen liberators, you should be able to do whatever you want. And there's one person who, who might be able to do that. Um, but he's not named Cure. Oh, Clem. Okay, in case you were wondering. Maru on a great day. Oliveira on the best days. But that army is incredibly fragile. And don't let Clem fool you. Insanely hard to use. Especially against this sort of Zerk. Here has rebuilt Widowmines, but the, the Corruptors are hunting for air units. There are no targets left. The Stim's doing permanent damage, emotionally and physically. Widowmine drop will trade some damage here, but it's not really a base trade if they're taking all yours and you're killing none of theirs. Another drop to the north as Kira avoids the problems at his front door. Uh, it was such a strong start for the people's parents. But it's going to end. A lot less dramatic. Well, in fire and flames. He's sending up it. Okay, cure. It's our cure. Yep, that's an investor. Cure still has enough army to make a game of it. it Dark is maxed out. Oh my. He's just hunting him down. All right, Cure. We don't mind. Got another big hit. Cure taps it out. Uh, wondering where it all went wrong. But there was that one moment where it clearly did all go wrong. Dark. Knocking out the army while simultaneously nidusing the main. Just flipping the table on Cure there. A relative back and forth. Honestly, Cure with a great timing. And enough army supply to really be be very dangerous, but you have to kill him. You have to knock him out. Otherwise, Dark will come back and find a way to make you pay for it. Game two, Radisson Station. Our um very dramatic macro map. Site Delta. I mean, well, it seems like these two always have these sort of games, especially God, but the back and forth. Is that a command center first? Indeed it is. A bold move. We'll see if it works out for him. No Zerg rush this time around, Dark. Not gonna bother. It looks like Dark gonna go three hatch before gas, indeed. So, uh, quite an experience for him as well. He's bringing enough drones down in order to clear out the uh, the minerals there and gets a third hatchery. 
So we got a, a bit of a macro game at our hands. This one, no sort of early aggression, no dances between the, the Zerglings and the SCVs. Just a build up into whatever these players are most interested in hitting with. See a lot of two medevac timings on this map. Also, uh, occasionally mech. This is the occasional mech map. Where you're able to lock down three bases with a single choke point is when mech can become a, a lot stronger compared to the bio. And a third command center is on the way. On the logo. You can float it over once he finishes off those minerals. Must be convenient. You know, those big minerals down here. What's up with that? I want those minerals. Okay, if anyone can get Didonitis down there, something like that, those minerals look like they're worth way more. Like these tiny little minerals, it has to be like 100,000 minerals right there. Okay, don't crash the mineral market. And it, it's going to be... He's like, no, no, no. You know what he'll never expect? Marines. Well, I think he's expecting Marines, but it's going to start out with Cyclones. A 3cc reactor clone opener from Cure. Who's really been pioneering those uh, clone into bio uh, sort of timings. Cyclones, a new lease on life. Seems to get a new lease every year or two. I'm um, not sure why we keep renewing that lease, but anyways. Ah, uh, did he mine out the one creep tumor? So what are you doing with the queen, Dar? So, you have to mine out part of the mineral wall in order to get a creep tumor with enough range in order to uh, spread down that ramp out onto the map. I can't tell because Brenda is a little too thick here, respectfully, that it looks like the mineral field is still underneath. Okay, I need to know. Does Dark have a way to get the mineral there, or get the creep tumor there, without mining the mineral wall? Or is he just standing here because he likes the feeling of the mineral under, under the queen? What am I watching? I need to know what's going to happen here. How did the queen get on top of the minerals in the first place? That's also odd. We will follow. Is she stuck? What's going on there? Um. The rest of the queens have come down. I, I'm so confused. This is the most interesting. Brenda, what's going on over there? Because it's like right on top of that mineral. She shouldn't even be able to be there. That's illegal. Well, the Cyclones, let's see. Uh, yeah, the Reaper died. Cyclones dueling. Going to the Dark Cam. As I try to learn more of these dark arts. What a quandary. I, I'm losing it over here, but... Oh my god. Wait, what? Oh, we mined out the creep tumor. There was no creep tumor there. I mean, there was no mineral wall there. We were just waiting for all that. It's just... It, oh my god. The, the dramatic reveal... No. It, it just... There wasn't a creep tumor there the whole time. It wasn't that dramatic. Brenda was just hiding, hiding it with laziness. Alright, the Cyclone Hellion. A bit of a bio-curious build here, as he, he goes with the mass site. He's, he's built four Cyclones, four Hellions, and now he's just going by. Because, I mean, that reactor factory, not too expensive to build these. And then join up with the Marine Medivac timing. Stim is done. 1-1 one, one and Combat Shield are pretty far off, but so are 1-1 one, one and Baneling Speed. So there aren't that many units out here for Dark. The Queens are the key part. Ah, there's some banelings, though, which... And the lings are wrapped around the back. You can't fit all that in two medevacs. Dark rips it apart. Oh, my God. Cure. 
did not bring enough lifeboats for everyone. And in fact, not even everyone got in the lifeboats he had. They're not even full. Which is um, quite unfortunate, considering now Dark is up 20 supply. He's up to 85 drones. I'd be very surprised if we don't see an infestation pit as well soon, as he gets a spire. He could go mass muta. It's very possible here. He's going to have a thousand gas ready, but mass widow mine as well. 11 mutas on the way. Drilling claws. Not going to forget it this time. Upgrade Does he know complete. about the mutas or is he just heavily suspecting it? Cure has some turrets already done. Widow mine's not bad against mass zerglings, of course, as well. Let's uh, be clear about that. 11 mutas. Dark finally giving us a muta game here. But the reason you don't see them very often is very simply they're so expensive and the risk reward rarely uh, is worth it. Usually better to get up towards high, make sure you can get vipers, adrenal glands, 3-3 three, three upgrades, the mutas at 100-100 a pop. Really have to put a lot of work in to justify not only their cost but the delay of anything else. The banelings, oh, widow mimes. Good splits. Need some overseers here. The mutas are slipping in. There is a single turret. He will right click on it. Cure! Cure! Is he re did he I think he reacted fast enough. Dark just targeting down SCVs. Micros away the muta. Little mine will be dealt with. So doesn't quite pick off the turret in time. Cure drops out to try to intercept the mutas, but they're able to get away. Dark does have control of the watchtower. Widowmon drop on the back line. Dark reacts quick. Able to deal with it. Minimal damage. For now, at least. But wait, there's more. Another mine. But... Oh, no! Well, that Widowmon makes up for some of it. But Cure... Well, another Widowmon tries to even it out. But Cure just lost... On the field, 16 marines, a medevac. He's getting chased. He lost everything on the ground. He has nothing in those medevacs. He was doing the widow mine drop, but Dark again catches him looking the wrong way. Oh, but the widow mine's recharged at the natural. Kira with great micro burrowing that mine 45 seconds ago. Gets a second hit, racks up 14 total drone kills, but Dark will throw 14 more drones on and make up for it. He's got his hive nearly done. There's still a Widowmon in here. But Cure is down to 160 supply. How did that mine get over there? Just scampered on in. Or moved from the mineral line. Oh my. Get some Muta. Certainly worth it. Even if that was the first kill, it's the ninth. Dark though. Nidus Network before the Hive even finishes up. This map so hard to attack directly on the ground. Once they're entrenched on three, even four bases, it's still difficult. Scanning forward, suspecting burrowed banes, and you know, there very well might be soon. Mute is flying in. The turret taking a lot of damage. The SCV is not able to repair in time. A second turret, though, to defend the mineral line. Thor is here. Here, adding in that long-range fire support. He's working on maxing out. The Zerglings are getting through the rocks. A well, very dead drone. The Mutas take out a mine. He's got the Overseer alongside it. With speed, it should be able to keep up for the most part. And possibly going to intercept the, the Metavax there, but there is a Thor. Which gives it a bit more range. Cure. And uh, now we gotta get through the mineral wall. It's a two step process to get Zerglings into that back base. Oh, Marie. But there was just a Marine? I thought that was a changeling. He's just sitting there the whole time, watching all this happen. Uses the Mutas to slap a Nidus down as well. And he can potentially cover it. And there's nothing. Co okay, he has Marines. He has Marines back here. Never mind. The Nidus gets shut down. Four more command centers on the way. Drones were looking to mine out the mineral wall, I'm sure. But they will have to burrow. 
before the army comes in. And now Dark has a bit of a weird army at this stage of the game. Having any amount of Mutas against what is soon to be 3-3 Bio. With Thors and Widowmans in full support. Dark looking for a near 360 degree surround here though. Coming in from the back, the Widowmans scattered over the field. Hitting the Terrans and Zergs alike. And the Metavax are completely vulnerable. There's no more mines to save the day. The Lings and Banes are overrunning the field. They'll expect some of us of the wreckage, says Cure. Stand right there while we run away. He's got 11 Metavax for nine Marines. Dark, again, cleans off the field. And the drones are slowly but surely chipping away at this mineral wall. Still, a widow mine block in this base, very annoyingly. Meanwhile, more mines. And once Dark gets through, the Zerglings are waiting patiently. Now it's a changeling over here. He needs to get through them. He needs one more drone. He doesn't even need to return it, obviously. He just needs to finish mining. Cure. Cure is not standing. All he needs to do is have some Marines. Uh oh. And the wall is open, and the Zerglings will stream through. The Nidus is slapped out alongside. And now they're inside the house. There's nothing to stop them. Tennessee, if he's down to start. And that's not the end of it. Dark is heading to the north side as well. The Nidus unleashes. The Mutas into the natural. Killing SCVs, intercepting the Metavax. The Zerglings and Banelings force a base to lift off. And Dark is just running circles and flying circles around here. Who will be able to stop the bleeding? But does he have a chance of turning this back? It's a single choke point there. The drone's on the run. Not willing to admit to their crime. In the main. Oh, the Lings and Banes. Cure looking the other way. And the Whittle Mine helps finish off the Marauders. The Nidus. I think it's going to complete. The Nidus screams. The main base is vulnerable. And the Zerglings will get in. They'll probably burrow afterwards. Able to take out some more. Somehow ghosts are on the field. But Zerglings. Lings and Banes run again. It's free real estate. Manually detonates the Banes to kill the Widow Mine. Zerglings into the third. And Dark is just grinding Cure down. Flyer attacks level three. The Zerglings are not quite enough to... F There's multiple Nidus's in the main. Cure is holding it together. Mm. With duct tape and band-aids right now. How many medevacs are left? He still has eight of them. Ultras are out. Dark has money at the bank. But Cure is not dead. The Zerglings. Well, a siege tank out on the field, but... Well... Gear has ghosts. He has Metavax. He's got Thors and Liberators. He built a missile turret to rewall off that mineral wall location. But here comes Dark again. The swarm with him. He's got the Corruptors and the Ultras as well. But Kier still has a comparable army supply. Ah, uh, Command Center. He'll be taken out. He does have building on. Lines up some snipes. And uh, hits some of the Ultras. The Wall of Marauders. The Banelings rolling in, trying to minimize the damage here. The Concussive Shell's helping a lot. The Ultras, the Ghosts find an angle. In the back corner here, Banelings rolling in. But the base isn't quite dead yet. Cure. Again, bleeding. And again survives. But at what cost? More Ultras, more Lings, more Banes. 300 supplies, Zerg out of Dark. And Cure is on. The Banelings uh, making sure that base dies. Another 22 of them join the field.
cure is building one ghost, one refinery. The income. He's run he's out of money. His mineral patches are drying up. His supply is stagnated. He literally has nothing. He's just kind of waiting for Dark to come across. I'm not sure what the light at the end of the tunnel is. It's all only looking dark from here. The Widow Mines. Painlings rolling. Corruptors to wipe out the air. The planetary this time will go down. The medevacs are taken out. And dark? Again? Driven back. That's an orbital. It can't lift. It also can't stay landed. Well, the ghosts come up. Alright, Kier. 140 Zerglings in production. But before they can come to fruition... Dark finishes him off. Another brutal game. With Dark just overwhelming Cure. And this time around, Cure never really found any footing. He... Every attack shut down with a counter-strike. As well, simultaneously. Not looking good for the people's Terran. Needs something to really return the damage. But Dark on top of it right now. Game three. Match point. Ah, yes. Oh, Cure. What have you brought us here? Oh, what is the Ah, it's three Rax Reaper. Ugh. I mean, hmm. Hmm. Name something more iconic than a four-letter name Terran in Three Racks Reaper. Like, well, we all know Beyond and Clem and Molly. But here comes Cure. Is that? Oh, he, he hides another one in the corner. So, Dark will see the two racks. The third racks in the main is the real kicker. Because the two racks is pretty figured out. But, the third racks in the main base. Uh, if you commit too much to try to kill the Reapers, that extra Reaper, that extra 2 3 adding up rather quickly, can make all the difference and, and really tilt the scales. So, Dark is going for three bases before speed. Which means Cure may very well build up a critical mass of... There's not going to be any way to chase them down and kill them. He just has to deflect. He has to take the damage. So we'll see. if no, You cannot lose a Reaper early. That is so important. Doesn't quite kill a drone. No command center at the net. Dark wanders in with the over. He sees it. He's got speed on the way, but that's a long timer. Another queen is coming down. Getting bounced around. Gets a drone. Starting to pile on the damage. More zerglings on the way. Dark starting to respect this. The reapers will go for the third. Early commit to trying to kill it. He will be able to do so. Uh, or at least cancel it. Well before zergling speed is done. Because Dark did, of course, get quite greedy. This is the side of the map where the add-ons are exposed. So if Dark does a huge counterattack, then there is an opportunity to potentially cancel Stim. But with this many Reapers on the field, it takes quite a commitment. Barracks building a reactor. Just moving into Marines. Dark. Going to be left without that third. So overall, a bit of an awkward start as a Zerg player here. You go for three bases, you delay your speed, you lose your third base. You've lost the advantage you were looking for. You got to try to make up for it later. But oof, loses a drone before he can build another third. Cure? Did he just cancel his third command center in favor of focusing on... Uh, uh, he just finished his natural. Never mind, I take it back. I saw a command center in the production tab, but then it, it left the production tab, and that's because it finished at the natural. Dark now 
Oh, if the Reapers move out that, that little employee entrance right over there. Where only the Reapers can move. Unless you mine out the mineral wall. The Zergling counterattack, but that should be enough Marines to keep him from canceling Stim. Dark season. Not dealing with it. The Reapers will come in and may be able to get the base yet again. Goes for the Queens. Bounces them around. Knows the Zerglings are coming back. Gets a Reaper finally. Feels good. Brenda will have a revenge. And the Zerglings are coming through the rocks over here. I haven't actually seen anyone make this move to deal with it. Uh, Dark realizing he has an opportunity. And the Zerglings are in here with the Reapers now in the unlocked part of the map. Cure, almost certainly not paying attention to him at this moment. Oh, he, that, he notices just in time, but it's still, he tries to dodge back grenades, but the Reapers are getting thinned out here. He's going for the lift, and it looks like all but one will make it out just in time. Good reaction from Cure. Keeps him alive, and that's an important part of the big follow-up with the Metavax coming out momentarily. We got Stim, we got Plus One, we got Combat Shield. Meanwhile, Dark has 47 drones. Not incredible. It, it has been delayed. This this has shut down Dark's attempt to get that huge economy early. And Dark has yet to make up for it with tech. So Cure has a real opportunity to at least uh, start trading well before anything like Baneling Speed. Is completed. He's gonna have plus one melee, and Dark is not gonna have upgrades for, well, essentially the entirety of the upgrade. Yeah, I'm pulling any other Marines back at home into the Metavax. Cure. Combat shield done. Plus one done. It doesn't get much better than this. It's only gonna be more difficult from here. So Cure really wants to get some damage with this timing. He's gonna use. That entrance that uh, Dark opened up for him. And the other side as well, the mineral wall. He's threatening a drop towards the main by coming in from this angle as well. Though he can't lift up nearly all the units at the moment. Gear. Only just now getting a third command center. He's really looking for a fight. But it looks like he's going to split off. Dark taking down some more of the rocks, making sure the map is as open as possible, give him an opportunity to get up close and personal with those marines. For a very short time, but, you know, intimate time. Two siege tanks. Cure decides not to press the issue, but instead, wait for the tanks, a patient move. We'll see if it ends up being the right one, because Dark now has been producing for quite a while. He's going to have Bane speed. He's gonna have 1-1 one, one momentarily. A huge counterattack, but the depot is closed. And there is no third. And now, an awkward scenario here. As Dark has so many units on the other side of the map, he's just gonna lose the four. Looking for a flank, but the Banelings at a very awkward angle. He actually jammed the tanks on the low ground. I don't know if they hit a hatchery there, but they definitely get close. Clever move. He might look to continue it. This army is stranded at the moment. He's gonna jam, oh my. The tanks in that back corner. Dark did finish his upgrades, but the Reapers jump up to the high ground. Gonna poke away at the queen, just blown out of the sky there. Oh, wow. Medivac comes in for high ground vision. Dark gonna go for a big counter attack. But there is already a tank set up here. Working on the uh, extractors. Creating more of a beach at Cure with this methodical tank push. The second tank not quite in range. The unfortunate Evo chamber placement. Most of the time that'd be perfectly fine, but Dark's Evo is within range of the siege tanks down here. And Dark only has lings and banks. So dislodging this push is going to be very costly. Cure. Well. Oh no! Trading away some of those marines denies plus two melee. That's a pretty big win there. Uh, Dark definitely going to be feeling the lack of upgrades as 2-2 finishes up. 
Eh, not too soon, but definitely quicker than his. Infestation pit is done. The third base is overrun. The SCVs were sent a little too early and will be slaughtered here. Dark lose, able to kill 14 of them. The main base, cure. Keeping it together for now. The beachhead continues. He loses the medevacs. Medevacs getting sent in one by one. The marines are, are gunning down the queens who are running out of energy. Well, Wings and Banes coming in. Those tanks finding so many opportunities. Zergling counterattack attempted. 15 kills, 11 kills. The amount of damage just keeps stacking up. Stim's in. Gonna find some more. He lost every medevac there. The Marines with the main having a tough time. There's no more medevacs. Once he clears up these Marines, he's gonna have to scan for vision. The Queen's eating so many hits. Ah, second breakfast indeed. And four more medevacs are loaded up. As Kier is determined to send as many as possible across the map. He still has a foothold with four Marines of feet on that high ground. A drop of doom! Six medevacs of Marines. Well, they're not all full, but six medevacs. And most of them with Marines. I think there's some Marauder... Anyways, six medevacs. Quite a commitment here. Using the scans, the Marines are taken out. The, the tanks are still... Oh my god. You right-click some more Marines in, but another attack. Widow Mines on the field. Here... Oh my god, the Widow Mine's devastating to both sides. I think you're... You killed three Marines. It wasn't as bad as I thought. Those tanks are still... They're still a Reaper! Oh my god. The Queen should be able to deal with it. The Carapace upgrades help you out a lot. Against those siege tanks. And Cure is starting to flounder here. As Dark took it in stride. For someone who was being besieged from just underneath his natural. He's in a remarkably comfortable position now. It looked like Cure might be able to turn that into something that could split Dark's production at the very least. Possibly take out the base. But now the tanks are just hanging out over there. I think a medevac just went over to save them. Which is kind of hilarious, but it took a bit of an awkward flight path, and the queens are going to take a bite of it on the way over. But the tanks... You didn't do great, but you did okay. Oh, and Cure decides he wants to just keep a tank to deny the base. Which is like a much worse version of burrowing a widow mine there. Kind of hilarious, though. I'm pretty sure Dark sees it. Yeah, he has overlords. He just saw the tank, so he just runs it over. Uh, well, here comes Kier. Widow Mines brings the hero tank over. Groove spines. Adrenal glands on the way, but not quite done yet. Kier has a solid army supply. Losing some drones at the natural. But oh my god! The Marines! Oh, they're going to be forced to pick up and abandon the field as Dark runs him over. But, oh, a Liberator came in and got a few more drone kills. Dark only has 60 drones. Look at the supply. That fight, it looked bad for Kira, but Dark lost a lot as well. In fact, Kira killed way more there, including his own unit. So I'm not sure how we're counting that, but uh, the Widow Mine's devastating. Dark at only 63 drones, really struggling. Wait, does he have muscular augments? I don't believe he does for the Hydras. He's not going to be able to chase things down, not quite yet. And the bio army off of creep, plus three infantry weapons, not even done yet. There's one bane leg in there, just target the bane! He gets it. And GG, Cure hitting the north side. Still a bit precarious, but able to carry the momentum through in Dark. While well, he's able to weather it. It's not quite enough. So. Oh, Kira's on the board, but I will say that if I... If, uh, that game would not fill me with a ton of confidence. Dark still able to scrounge up a solid defense despite the difficulties throughout the early and mid game. But at the end of the day, Kira leans on his macro. 
and uh, Dark is ground down before he can really get that hive tech online. And that brings us to no clean sweep to game four on a tough map for Zer. It's going to be hard let. This map we've seen, especially Clem, but many Terrans really just use the the short rush distance in order to minimize uh, the amount of time Zerg has to react to anything. There aren't that many bases, uh, and they're relatively hard to hold on to against pushes. It just seems to be a map Terrans thrive on in general. But of course, at this level, a, a slight edge could easily be turned against you. And Dark is a master of uh, making your mistakes uh, his benefit. So. A hard-hitting series thus far. I still favor Dark as time goes on. As uh, clearly more comfortable in the later game. But Cure... I'm not even... I, I'm not sure exactly how he does it. But he just has so many units on the field. He certainly makes up for the amount extra he loses. And he loses a lot extra. How many medevacs and how many marines died just so those tanks on the low ground would still have vision? Well, apparently it paid off. As Dark was not able to get... The hive tech is so important. That's why we see almost every game nowadays is getting a hive before 10 minutes. Nine minutes, even. So... Uh, third com... Wow. Third command center. Okay. A very greedy build out of here. Dark again? Well, actually, not again. He, he went for a slightly quicker, a lot quicker speed this time around. And in fact, he's looking to use it. Wait, Cure, did he scout? He didn't scout. He did not scout. He's going 3cc with no Reaper. Cure. Dark is not willing to commit everything on it. But he is sending 10 Zerglings across. There's only going to be four Marines. Will he use the Overlord? Or is he just going to go with speed? The Zerglings are coming in. Uh, well, we'll see. There's more Zerglings here. He's adding a few more. The boys are pulled. Marines 5 and 6 are coming out here. He's going to get a depot. And he's just denying mining at the natural, somewhat awkwardly here. Stim is on the way. Four overlords for Dark. He's actually looking to just cut down the marine count. The Zergling stutter step is... He's only got 29 drones behind. If he had committed all out to the Zerglings, this may very well have been a game-winning move. But it does depend so much on Kira not reacting in time. So Dark, unwilling to gamble at all there, instead goes for the, the Zerglings. There's just too many Marines now. Dark leaving himself in a, quite an awkward position here, I will say. As now you've spent all this on Zerglings, this larva, I don't blame him for trying to just grab it away. And he has the, the Overlord in position at the back. He did see essentially all of this. He saw, in fact, the Overlord sees the additional wreck, so he knew what he was up against. Stim and combat shield. No engineering may. Procure it all. Dark? What is this? He's getting a lair. There's no Evos. I believe he finished a Roach Warning. Yep. It's been a little while since we... Oh, this is a map for... Much like how, how Terran players like those early pushes, that's also what makes the map potentially good for Roach time. You just get there so quick, it's quite hard to hold on to your third against a committed and well-positioned force. He's just, he's just walking across the map with Marines. There's Roaches on the way. I mean, that's a lot of Marines. Is that going to be enough? There's seven Roaches. 
25 Marines on the field. They're not all here. Taps the creep. Sees the engineering bay. Oh my. More roaches on the way. No roach speed out of dark. There it is. All right. He's going for the dark hammer. We are 66 roaches. Ah, yes, the mark of the roach. The amount to fully saturate three bases and not a drone more. I imagine that that extra drone he's building is going to be for a fourth base. Or to replace the drone he just built a fourth base with. Exactly 66 drones on the dot. And now, roaches. Probably as many ravagers as he can put together when he sends them across the map. Uh, with the extra gas. But, if Cure does not have siege tanks, and ideally a, a solid defensive setup, maybe some depots, a couple bunkers, he hasn't figured... I don't know if he's even seen the roaches yet. He saw the edge of the creep. I'm not sure if he saw a roach before he went home. Oh, he's se sending out two medevacs. Now, if he's able to hold it home and get damage done, the two medevacs could be devastating. But splitting your forces is also potentially a recipe for disaster. Medevacs boost to the main. Roaches are just waiting patiently. Um... <laughs> It's like, maybe he won't notice. No, I think he noticed. Just because the, the roaches just don't like moving if they don't have to. I think we can all empathize with that. 1-1 one, one is about to complete. Dark is at 186 to 140 supply. The Ravagers are on the way. Here has come back. He's got a meta. I love this. A medevac to just follow it around. There's no anti here. Why not? Scouting medevac. But does it matter? Here comes Dark from... Every side he can. Getting close enough. Fires up the corrosive biles and knocks down the tank. Corrosive biles forcing the marines to micro forward. Still a tank or two on the back line. And Cure holds strongly enough for the first round. Dark is refilling. He's starting to add a few more drones in. The marines. Oh, but some zerglings. Getting a little far forward here with the marines. There's no tanks really to back this up. The only tank is on the high ground. He's going to target it. Cross about gonna help out. And Cure b definitely bit off more than he can chew. The Marines were not protecting the tank. The tank take it out on its own and the Marines are forced to retreat into the medevacs and just like that, Dark dislodges the third. The fourth base, a scan at the third. I'm not sure what Cure is scanning for. That's one of those scans before you GG potentially, but he needs to know how all in to go, I think is what he's looking at. Not stimming yet. The boys are pre-pulled. If he can crush the roaches and ravagers, he can potentially turn this. He scanned and saw all the gas. No, um, I'm really not sure what that gives away. The evidence of what Dark is doing is in his face right now. Literally throwing up in it. Corrosive bile indeed. Ah, uh, sends out. Splitting the meta- where, where are we going? The overseer comes in, and they're like, Oh, you know what? Actually, never mind. Two command centers in the main. Infestation pit. Dark is maxed out. Will he try to hammer cure or just keep him busy on two base? He's waiting for... Oh, dark. This kind of feels like a metaphor for how this series has gone. Cure? Beaten back. Beaten down. And eventually, demoralized to the point, he's been forced to tap out. And right now, I'm hard pro- Oh, he's got it over here. Dark is not waiting any longer. He is going up, throws up the corrosive biles, knocks down one tank, a whole bunch of zerglings at the back, misses a volley on the other, but continues raining down. And it's getting a bit costly here, but gets a medevac for his trouble. The double drop starting to get real damage, though. Dark has to be a little bit careful with how long he stays on this side of the map. If he's not able to clean up the double drop. Now 2-2, two, two, about to complete. The Metavax, the Queens get one! Get off my creep! 
Sorry, I blacked out. For a moment, the roaches and ravagers. And, oh, gets another medevac. Here, just not able to dodge. There were change legs providing vision. He finally figures it out, but at what cost? Dark. He might have lost an arm, but he's going to rip Cure's legs off and beat him over the head with him. Dark is bludgeoning Cure here in game four. And I am not optimistic for a game five. The tanks are shelling, but there's just so much Zerg. Dark is overrunning and Cure taps it out. Dark with a dominant three to one. Cure had a solid timing, able to steal one away with the Reaper opener, but the darkness overwhelms. A decisive victory for Dark in this series. Uh, quite a contrast with some uh, other Terrans there. Cure, the macro is good, but Dark knows how to handle it. I feel like Dark just knows Cure so well. The mental damage as well as the, the actual unit damage. But I hope you enjoy. A solid brawl there. A beatdown, but a fun one nonetheless, I think. Thank you for watching. I hope I made your day a little bit better got the means of motivation be awesome to check out patreon uh, or youtube membership but i hear liking and subscribing is still free and it'd be awesome if you check out the uh, autoplay i recommend it helps out a lot according to youtube themselves so who knows they might be but whatever I don't know. <laughs> thank you for watching i'll see you next time good luck have fun stay chill